What's up, everybody? Guess who's had a bad day? Uh, I tried. <laughs> I'm, uh, it's been, it's been, it's been a bad day, man. It is only what? It is only 11.46, and my day is off to such an awful start. I, I was at a, at a, at a, at a kind of a, 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 a I was stuck for relearns. I couldn't figure out what to do, and then I decided, well, I've been talking about how I want to work on, on, on traditional art more, and I tried, like, trying to finish up an animation I'd been working on to maybe post that as a relearns, and then I'm like, no, I'm not, if I rush this, I'm gonna regret it. And so then I'm like, oh, I'll do some, some traditional art. It'll be fine. It'll be great. And I was like, I'll record on my phone because the web camera I have right now is Garbo and we all know it. And I really need to get a better one, but I haven't yet come broke. So I'll just record it with my phone and it'll be fine. And guess what my phone did? Guys, guess what my phone did? It recorded 15 minutes of the speed paint and then stopped. So I now have 15 minutes of the start of a painting and the rest, it's like an hour worth of work that I lost. And I've got nothing to show for it, and I've got no video today. So uh, instead of just going, you know, screw it, I don't need to. I don't need to put up a relearns. Uh, I'm gonna put up a video. It's not gonna be really a relearns. It's just gonna be a re. Is really mad and frustrated, and is gonna channel that channel that frustration into something she's been mad about for a while. You know what I'm mad about, folks? You know what I'm mad about today? You know what frustrates me? I don't get frustrated often. I try to keep my temper in check, but today it's gone. So we're gonna roll with it. You know what I'm mad about? The strawberry shortcake reboot. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at what they did to Blueberry Muffin. I'm mad, guys. It's not good. It is not a good look. I don't know what's going on with Key Lime's glasses, but they're ugly. Strawberry Shortcake is ugly. They look like trolls. They look like trolls. They look like they're gonna burst into song and poop out cupcakes and it's just gonna be a lot of bad poop jokes with pop music thrown in. It's bad, guys. It's bad. And I don't just mean this from the, oh, you know, they're ruining my childhood kind of way, but the designs are objectively, there's nothing interesting going on here. They took all the fun parts of their characters and, like, filed them down into terrible little gremlin nubs. Their costumes are whack. Their hair is whack. Their expressions are non-existent. They look like toys, which is the whole point of this reboot. I know is to just get back into selling more toys, and they make them look like this so that they're gonna have an easier time manufacturing them. All their face shapes are the same. All their expressions are the same, so they can use the same model, save money, and get that good, good cash. Which I, I mean, you know, get that dollar. Do you? But not with my baby girls. So I'm, I'm, I'm mad. I'm mad, guys. I'm mad. I'm not happy. So I'm going to be redesigning them. I'm going to find a way to, you know, give them that hip, fresh, modern look. Y'all can't see the air quotes, but they're there. Uh, that apparently they're going for with this. And I'm not going to butcher everything that made these characters cool in the first place while I'm at it. Also, I mean, I'm white, so I can't comment on it. But I feel like... I feel like that's not a good... Uh, like that's not that's not that's not a good call. I don't, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyways, we're just gonna we're gonna hop into it. Uh, I'm recording this before I even start start drawing, so catch you on the flip side. But uh, yeah. <sighs> All right, y'all. It's the flip side. Uh, it is seven hours since when I recorded that intro and my my violent. Loud anger has turned into a quiet rage. Uh, the day did not get better. I had to go to the DMV. Everything's been garbo. I'm in a bad mood still. Um, but I finally got around to finishing this video. There was so many times where I'm just like, maybe I'll just save this for Friday. Maybe it won't go up Wednesday, but... Mama didn't raise no quitter. So here we go. Uh, I ended up doing only three of them instead of uh, the five featured, just because I was already... I already had a long video, and it was already going to be going up late enough as it is, and I'm just like, let's just give them what I've got, and then if they like it, we'll do the other two, and then maybe some of the other characters redesigned if folks are interested in it, and if not, I don't think anybody's going to be losing sleep over not seeing my version of um, Lemon Chiffon and Lime Fucker, I don't remember her name, I probably shouldn't have sworn, editing where you beep that out. Um, 
I was saying words, man. Uh, oh, yeah, strawberry shortcake. So hopping into this, I've got my little piece of paper with all my rough sketches on it. So I started with strawberry shortcake, our gal, our, our lead lady. Um, man. I'm just gonna be real with y'all like while this video is going I was gonna do like this whole thing I was gonna talk about like my ideas on like how you could reinterpret uh these characters into a modern setting and why I thought it would be important to have strawberry shortcake as like the tomboy character because we don't really see tomboy girls as like main characters and also I thought it would be really really useful for today's youth to see characters that were both feminine and tomboyish because uh, growing up I know I thought that I had had to choose between one or the other if I liked anything pink or girly it would mean I wasn't allowed to love comic books and video games and so I chose a side and I'm only just now letting myself like girly things and I felt like strawberry shortcake would be a really good opportunity to kind of show girls that they're allowed to be both and that liking one kind of thing doesn't invalidate liking a different kind of thing and all that jazz instead of just taking lemon chiffon the known girly girl of the series and turning her into the tomboy just because you needed a tomboy side character but I mean, that's like all the energy I've got for that, you know? Just let kids be both, man. Let them be both. Let them dig around in the dirt and wear skirts and read comic books. And don't let any one of those things mean that it's weird for them to like the other. Let kids really love X-Men and also really love fairies. I'm tired, y'all. I don't know what it is. I've been in a weird headspace. Feels like whenever I've got the time to actually draw, it kind of just everything inside me dies. I had three days of no work. I was so convinced that this was going to be a time period in which I was going to get things done, you know? I was going to get some Patreon stuff done. I was going to get some videos recorded ahead of time. I was going to clean. And I mean, I've got the cleaning done. But the videos still got recorded on the day they were supposed to go up. I've only got works in progress for my Patreon. I haven't been able to finish anything and get it uploaded. It's just been a weird couple of days. And I think I'm in this weird period of like self-growth right now. It's kind of been just wreaking havoc on literally everything in me. I'm on the brink of like figuring things out about myself. And I don't know if I want to jump that ledge yet but I know I need to if I want to get back to being useful <laughs> I don't know orange turned out cute though I'm not sure if I like her design but I at least like her better than I like the original thing just like a pro tip if you're uh, remaking a character or even just like making a character who's a person of color please pay attention to like what common stereotypes of them in media are or have been if you have a character who is black who is very feminine and cute and shy don't turn her into a sassy character because that's soft feminine women of color don't really get to exist too much in media and when you take the few tiny little bits of representation they got and turn them into the sassy sidekick. It's it's kind of garbo. Please prove me wrong, strawberry shortcake, but I know those DreamWorks eyebrows. They're not a good sign. I mess with that dress a lot. Man, I'm tired. I just kind of crashed real hard. I still gotta get laundry done before I call it a night. dress turned out cool though. I'm still happy with the dress. Man, I wanted to have such a different energy for this video. I don't know, maybe the behind the scenes little look into where the heck my headspace is at right now will be cool to some folks. Sometimes, man, sometimes life throws, throws you a weird bone and you don't want to throw it away because you know it's a bone that's going to make things easier in the long run, but man, it's a pain to deal with in the moment, you know? Sometimes you start unpacking why exactly it is you feel nauseous whenever you hang around people. 
And why it's the same feeling you got when you got out of a different situation that was really bad for your mental health. And how exactly you process that when they're people that are really important to your life and you also owe a lot of money and time and energy to. How exactly you process that when you have big plans on the horizon that uh, historically you involve those kinds of folks in, but man, I don't know. One of these days, I think I'm finally going to get to a point where I can talk about these things without like beating around weird bushes, but that's uh, <laughs> one of the many other things I get to unpack in my weird emotional baggage. They're unboxing videos for people's emotions. I could make a killer off those. Did some little orange blossoms on her dress. Figured it would be cute. Probably could have pushed the orange motif a bit more. As much as I hate the new designs, I do like the headband they gave orange blossom. I think it's cute. Should have found a way to work that in. Did some base shading on her hair. And time for number three, my favorite character of all time. Blueberry Muffin's always been my girl. Little Baby Ree was one heck of a bookworm, so. Also, that brown and blue color scheme is a good stuff. this video to be better. I'm sorry y'all. I wanted to have more energy for this. But it's just every time I look at my art, I just... Yuck. You know? You know. Hey, hey, fun, fun little, fun little challenge. Tell me about y'all's favorite dogs. What's your, like, favorite dog breed? Did y'all see any good dogs today? Dogs are good. We all love dogs. Unless you don't love dogs, in which case, tell me about your favorite amphibian. I had this whole thing where it's like, Blueberry Muffin wouldn't be so put together. She was known for being scatterbrained and very focused on her books and nothing else, and so she'd not have a very put-together appearance, and so I wanted to give her baggy clothing and a messy bun and yada 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 yada, and it all feels so silly now, you know? Oy vey, y'all. Oy vey. Do love that color palette, though. It was a good look. Gave her blue accents in the eyes, because why not, man? Man, I hope this doesn't sound too depressing. I know it does. I, I guarantee you this is going to be like a really bummer video to watch. And I do apologize for that. But that is the way this cookie has crumbled. And we're just going to roll with it. We're going to make the next video happier. I'm going to binge some cartoons while doing laundry. Make myself some food. Hope things get better. Just got to keep on trucking, you know? Finished illustration. Ta-da. Here's my girls. I love them. I love them a whole lot more than I love this reboot, which is none. There's no, no love for this reboot. Maybe, maybe it'll be better than it looks, but it don't look good. Uh, I don't know. I don't have, I mean, I, I clearly don't have a whole lot to talk about in this. Again, quiet rage is just kind of making its way now to quiet depression. We all get bad days, man. We just gotta create through it and hope the next day is better. Uh, yeah. Alright. Ta-da! I hope you managed to enjoy this somehow. If you did, props to you. Um, if not, I'm sorry. I promise my other videos will be better. <laughs> if this is your first video, I'm so, so sorry. Please go look at the other ones. They're so much better. There's, like, joy and energy in them. Uh, neither of which are present in this. 
Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for putting up with this if you made it the whole way through. Uh, sorry. Man, I'm sorry. This video sucked. That's all good. Uh, <laughs> until next time, I hope you have a great day. I hope you eat some great food, and I hope you make some great art. And I love you. Bye-bye!